What's up, everybody? I'm Gliss here, and I'm here with another episode of FTL Faster Than Light. So, I just jumped to the second sector, a civilian sector, and I'm gonna begin from there. There's a distress beacon here, so let's check it out. Once you arrive at the location of the distress call, a civilian ship hails you. Thanks for responding to our beacon. Our FTL navigation has gone haywire and we can't plot a course to the nearest depot to get fixed. Could you lead us there? Lead them to their destiny. I'll do that. They take this bit of scrap as a down payment. We'll use your jump signatures to follow you. You're really helping us out here. Okay. So, is there anything worth buying right now? Oh yeah, I can power this up. So now I have two shields. You'll notice there's a higher opacity on my shields. And let's go. Let's jump to another. There's a store. Distress. Okay. Let's go to the store first. Let's see if there's anything worth getting a Teleporter, a cloaking, ooh, more people. I think that's the biggest thing that I want, and I'll try to get some more scrap so I can get that. <clears throat> As you jump into the system, a pirate advances on your position. They are refusing all hails. Prepare for a fight. Got a burst laser of some sort, it looks like, similar to mine. And they are one shot away from death, so I'll just target that. Put him on healing the O2. And they're dead. 16 scrap, 3 fuel, 1 drone part. Oh yeah, I was saving up for a crew member from the shop, so not quite enough for that. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a little sick, so <clears throat> I can't help it if I cough or my voice gets gravelly. I also may sound a little bit nasally right now because I'm a little bit congested. I will try not to blow my nose on... Uh, recording. I had a Sudafed beforehand, so I should be better in that respect. But if I cough, then I apologize in advance. It appears the distress beacon is coming from the surface of a nearby moon. Your sensors are picking up a single life form. You find a man living alone in a cave. From the appearance of his wrecked ship, it seems he's been here for many years. He looks healthy, but his mental state is questionable. Bring him back to your ship in hopes of finding some help for him. He seems to improve immensely upon getting back in the ship. It might take a while for him to truly be well again, but until then he seems to serve as a happy member of your crew. Seems happy to serve as a member of your crew. Sorry. Here we go, we've got another guy, so let me see. Is there a purpose of putting him on sensors? Enables view of, no, that won't help. So I could put him on shield, which will, uh, I'm not quite sure what it does. Oh yeah, there we see. Manning increases shield recharge speed, which is helpful. So we'll put him there until we buy the next person. 
if we are able to buy him. <coughs> Sorry about that. Upon completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. Reject their offer and attack them. Let's put that there. Don't want anyone teleporting on. There we go. Put that on their shields because they're repairing those now. You saw their door open and close. Okay. There we go, got rid of their ship, and now I can do this, which will... Okay, never mind. Subtract one from here, power that up. So they're healing as they fight, close off all the doors, and I need to get back in there to repair that. So you'll see they're healing as they fight. Mantis are better fighters, so they do more damage faster, but because I'm healing as I fight, I can work adequately or fight better than them, and they can fight back as well. So I've got to repair my oxygen systems now because one of their missiles, I think, took it out, and we're low on oxygen in everywhere. So let's open the doors. He's on here, I think. Now Williams is engines, but I'll just put everyone here. Have them mass repair this place. And put Charlie back in heel, because he needs it a little bit. Williams here. Then Williams back, and we'll have everyone Martin's stuff. Yes. Okay, there we go. And I want to get back to the store now because I can buy another person. Which sounds a little wrong, but... I, you know what I mean. Hire. There we go, hire crew. Allison is an NG. NG are... Uh, I don't quite know how to describe them, but they're like cyborgs, as it says here. It's unclear if the NG are partly organic or entirely mechanical, but it's well known that they make exceptional engineers. So, <clears throat> if I buy this NG, I can use him to more quickly repair my things. So, I'll keep him in oxygen. That's a common target of enemy ships and so I want him to be able to repair it as fast as he can close all the doors and jump ooh I don't like this I don't want to go into a nebula but <sighs> whatever can't always get what you want. In the tangled wrecks of many ships waited dormancy here. Oh, in the tangled wrecks of many ships waited dormancy here. Okay, sorry. The tangled wrecks of many ships waited dormancy here. You see lights flicker on what looks like debris. A rebel scout bursts out of the wreckage. So my sensors are down, I can't even see most places in my ship. Uh, I've got to deal with this as best I can. Let's shoot there. I don't know, I'm not gonna use a missile now because I'm almost out of them.
timing on that cloak, it's great. They're dodging things like hell, right? <clears throat> Shoot it either way, because it's getting annoying. And then, one last shot to their pilot. There we go. Destroyed them. Two fuel, two missiles, two scrap. Uh, anything I can buy with 17. No. Okay. Looks like I have to stay in the nebula longer. Nothing here, which is helpful. An advanced auto. No. Avoid provoking it. Don't want to deal with that right now. Jump to the quest. Continue. 31 scrap to fuel. Okay, that's good. Jump back here. Jump here. Scans show a remote settlement being block blockaded by a pirate ship. The ship hastily messages you, Stay out of this or you'll be next. Concentrate fire on. Uh, I'll go ahead and attack them. They don't have anything very special about them, so... There we go. Nice hits. Shoot their shield again. I'd like more scrap, and I, I'm fairly sure I won't get that if I let them surrender. They healed their weapons. I'll shoot that again and kill them. There we go. Really easy fight. 20 scrap, one missile, two fuel. That's good. Oh, and with the pirates gone, you signal the station. We appreciate what you've done, but there'll be another ship looking for, to profit our isolation soon enough. Sorry we can't give you more. One fuel, two missiles, 15 scrap. Still pretty good. Exit. Ooh, no, no. And I have a rebel fight, which is not fun. Shoot their shield. Let's try their shield again. Missed one, but I have their shields down. They have extremely powerful weapons in comparison to what I have and others have right now. So, they also have huge health and, I guess, good dodging. Which just makes this all the more tedious. I'll try to jump out when I have the FTL ready. In fact, I will jump out when the FTL is ready, unless... Never mind. They're almost dead. Take them out. No. Get some... Scrap. Missiles. Whatever else may come. And... One more hit. They're done. One fuel. Well, that's great. Next sector. Pirate rebel. Rebel, because it allows me to do my path. At one point, this was the most commonly traveled sectors. One of the most commonly traveled sectors. Knowing that the rebels have stationed a number of fleets here. Be careful. Uh, we survive that. Don't need upgrades on my weapons right now. Auto one fourth evasion. Hmm. This is a hard decision. 
med bay oxygen that could be very helpful let's buy another and then wait for what five more seven more scrap so i can upgrade shields again um, i need to upgrade it twice so i'll just Do that. Upgrade shields. Accept. And now I need 42 more for that to actually be useful. Go to the distress signal. Or 52 more. Thirty-nine scrap. That's getting close to what I need. So soon I should be able to buy a... Uh. Okay. Start getting their FTL down because they want to leave and I don't want them to. Don't know what they just shot me with, but looked cool. And then one more shot should kill them. There we go. 13 scrap, 2 fuel. Good, I needed fuel and. Well, there we go. Level sh 3 shield. That will be very helpful for a while. Go here. A rebel automated ship sits dormant near a rebel forward radar station. Ship powers up. Another cloaking device. That's fun. Let's take care of the shield. Cloaking device. And then one more shot should kill them. As long as their shield doesn't come up, which... <sighs> or as long as I don't miss, it would have helped if I didn't miss. But they can't repair anything because they are a auto scout. And there we go. Hack into the station and transmit false info about your location. That should hold off the fleet for at least a little while. Let's jump again. Do that so I can get more distance. Great. That's not good. Let's get him out here. And because it's a fire, it needs oxygen to spread, or do anything for that matter. I get rid of the oxygen, fire doesn't spread. Shoot. Spent too much time commentating. Badly, but... And there we go. Got rid of them. Three fuel, one drone part, 30 scrap. Close the doors. Fix the oxygen. Open the doors. And let this guy back in here. So we're getting somewhere. Okay. The beacon is being patrolled by an unmanned scout. A fight is unavoidable. And of course, cloaking again. Not that I expected anything less. It is the rebels after all. you over here to repair that and destroy their weapons. They've got 
one weapon left up. So I'm going to target that again, get rid of that, because I don't want anything shooting me. <laughs> Looks like someone leveled up him, I guess, in repair or something. I'm not quite sure. Our pilot leveled up in piloting, which is really nice, plus 7 evasion, so we've got 22% evade chance. And you know, now that we can, we've got the money for it, I'll upgrade our evasion. I guess that was powered down. jump. Let's jump to here and see what awaits. Sell six drone parts for 24 scrap. That's fine. I don't want drone parts. Don't need drones. I've never actually used drones that much. They may be good, but you detect a rebel scout on an attack approach to a small refueling outpost. Their weapons are charged, but they're not firing yet. Intervene. The rebel responds to your threat. I don't know who you are, but no one defies the rebel fleet. They move in to engage. Okay. I don't like this. This guy in here and is that burst laser? Can I get the burst laser on shields and then this on weapons? Get you back in here. You healed. Uh, get rid of that again. Close. No cigar. Get him there. And burst laser, target that again. And let's take out their oxygen from here. Almost there. And wow. Gotta love that evasion. go 24 scrap one drone part one missile for fuel 32 scrap that is awesome let's upgrade that upgrade doors so i have better doors uh, now my doors are reinforced i think so People are less likely to break through them. Let's jump to the exit, and then we're going to end off this episode. gonna attack anything if he's dying of asphyxiation. Get rid of that. Hope he survives. No, he survives. And send him back in here. Shoot that. Kill off their shield. shield slow. Didn't see that. And I don't know, I'm almost out of missiles, so I won't do that. Take 
take out their shield again. So close. Oh, they jumped. So, I'm going to let my guys repair this, and then in the next episode, I'll jump to the next sector. So, leave a like if you liked it. Comment, subscribe, favorite. I'll see you later. Bye.